Hello and welcome to this video of UFT1 AI with SAP success factors. So we're going to go ahead and start the run so you can see the business process. This video assumes that you've already watched the previous video on AI transformation from traditional object recognition to AI object recognition on SAP Fiori. This particular business process is going against SAP success factors. And the process is to create a candidate to be able to apply for positions inside of the recruiting module on SAP success factors. So as you can see, we've logged in and now we're going into the recruiting module in SAP success factors. Uh, we're now waiting for the preferences and candidates uh, menu items at the top to open and then uh, we're using the AI object recognition to click on the candidates button and waiting again for SAP success factors to bring in the candidates page. At this point, once the uh, page has finished loading, we're gonna click on the add candidate uh, on the right hand side to bring up the add candidate pop-up window. And we're creating using a function inside of our UFT1 script a unique first and last name so that when we do our search, we'll know that we'll only have one search uh, um, record returned so that we can validate that it's the correct one that we have just created. So as you can see, we're filling out the information necessary to add the candidate, including uh, first name, last name, email, phone number, and country region. And then it's gonna click the Create Profile button which will bring up another pop-up window. Uh, that is the candidate window where you can upload a resume. You can uh, bring in internal uh, experience. You can set up what their salutation is. So in this particular case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show how you could click on the add button for internal employment history. And we're not gonna add any for this particular case. Close the details, change the salutation and then click the Save button. Then we're going to be brought back to the SAP. Oh, we're going to close the pop-up window, and we're going to be brought to the SAP Success Factors search screen for candidates. Uh, show how you could close a particular uh, uh, search criteria, add in a new one for searching on first name, and then we're going to find the object uh, the search box for the first name that we added and click on search. SAP success factors will do a pop-up window for making sure that you want to accept your, and see your search results for how many records you record, you've searched for. So if you did some kind of blind query, you could refine that query before you're brought up uh, and retrieve you know, potentially thousands of records. We're going to validate that the first name is in there that we expected, first and last name, and then log out. So once this is logged out, we're also going to make sure that the uh, login page is now being displayed again before we continue uh, with a synchronization point. So let's actually look at the code here. So what we're doing inside of the, the code is we have a, a, a function here to use the date and time down to the second so that we can have a unique uh, username uh, for, for the candidate. You can see in here that we have, uh, we're data driving this off of the global data sheet uh, for the URL that we're gonna enter and the username and the password. You can see here that we have an example of uh, using a VRI, virtual relative index, to find an item using a text anchor. Uh, in this particular case, it's the admin center and then clicking the down triangle that's immediately to the right of that admin center text. We're also, here's another example of VRI using a, an icon. So instead of clicking on username, which the as you saw when we brought up the application, the contrast wasn't uh, very great. So sometimes the OCR is gonna struggle with seeing that text on the screen because of uh, it's gray on gray. Um, uh, so what we did is uh, we're looking at the profile icon and then saying find the first uh, input field uh, to the right of that uh, icon. If we click on the uh, run results, you can see that our script run success, ran successfully. 
uh, with AI, you can see what field it's it's being uh, uh, acted upon inside of the run results with the screenshot capture that you have today. So thanks for taking the time to watch this uh, brief video. And if you have questions or if you want to try out UFT1, you can microfocus.com slash UFT and download the latest version.